key of E major is a particularly useful key and one of my favorites because we can create some lovely jingly jangly chords and picking parts and progressions and that's what I wanted to demonstrate in today's lesson. Today's study is then in the key of E and we're using some harmonized thirds and adding in these open strings to create this jingly jangly lush effect. Hopefully this will inspire you and give you some ideas for writing your own parts. Tabs in the backing track for the study will be available to all my Patreon group members. Let's get stuck in. First thing then is to be ultra familiar with the harmonized thirds in the key of E and the middle two strings. We're gonna be E major scale on string four, starting on the second fret, we get whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step to the octave. So we're gonna harmonize that scale in thirds. So we take the first note and add in the third note of the scale on the string below. Then we take the second note and add in the fourth note of the scale. Then we add in the third note, harmonize with the fifth note, four with the sixth, five with the seventh, etc. Six with the one again at the octave, seven with the two, one with the three. So we get a sequence of major thirds and minor thirds. And it goes major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, and major. That will always be the same for any major scale. Any key you're in, you can harmonize it in that basis. Major third, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor. So the starting exercise for this before we launch into the study would be to be in a three, four picking one and two and three. We're gonna take those thirds, add in the open string, start a bit of this jingly jangly. Notice my fingering here. I'm using finger three on string four and finger two for the major third. Because as we move up, I then use finger three and finger one. So it's. So we're gonna start with that in the study, but we're gonna descend. So we're descending from here, but we're gonna add in an open A bass note. So the picking is actually similar to that, but in the middle four strings, we start from string five. I'm gonna reference these thirds in relation to the scale. So this is one, because it's on the, uh, the first note of the scale. Then it would be seven, six, Okay, so the first half of the study in these first eight measures, we have one, then we go to the seven, six, then we jump down into the fourth of the scale on the seventh fret. So it's one, seven, six, four, and then we take that up into the five, but we're gonna change the bass note onto the B. We're gonna use my first finger, the index, which is free, onto uh, the bass note on the seventh fret of string six. And what we're gonna do for this one is just add in the open E string, string one. So I'm gonna try and hit them both to get that nice, that nice shimmery. that for three times and then we're going to move up into what would be thinking about a C sharp minor so on the ninth fret I'm going to use my thumb a nice opportunity to practice a little thumb over the top and that takes us back into the A so this first part nice and slowly we'll go like this Again, the same thing, but instead of the C sharp, we go down into what would be a sense of G sharp minor. Okay, so it's G sharp in the second time. In the second half, then we're reviewing these harmonized thirds as we climb up from. 
the fourth of the scale. Five, six, seven. And then what I found myself doing was strumming it. I got a bit carried away. Didn't write it like that, but then it sounded good. So the strum I put to it. I went one, a two, and three, E, and go. So down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Some nice sixteenth note strumming practice here. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. One, a two, and three, E, and up. Illustrating then that these can be used for picking parts. They sound great, or you can strum through them as well. The second half slowly would be like this. There you are i hope you enjoyed that if you did please don't forget a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're new to the channel remembering as you do so to ring that bell for more on the major scale and harmonizing it as we've done so for the study you should definitely check out my guitar course guitar Rock busters essential theory if you go and check that out you can also get yourself a free copy of my ebook fretboard mastery my approach to how to memorize the fretboard in just a few days as I mentioned at the beginning, the backing track and the tabs for the study are available to my Patreon group members. You can help support the channel and get exclusive bonuses for as little as $3 per month. You can find out more with the link below or in the card. Thank you very much. Practice well. I'll see you again soon.